Hey everyone, welcome back to another video in which I'm gonna list my top five under 1KB JavaScript libraries, which could be pretty useful for you in your ne next project. And since these are so lightweight, you can pretty much just throw them in your project without worrying a lot. So let's just take a look what they are. Starting off with Wade. Now this is a blazing fast 1KB search library, as it says. Um, it pretty much is a very simple library for searching purposes, but it gets your work done. So if you're looking for a very basic search implementation, here you have Wade, which is has a footprint of less than 1KB, as it says, and uh, is pretty good for basic users. Another interesting library is this one, if visible. So actually browsers expose this API directly, but if you want some sort of um, you know, cross browser support as well as cross device support, you can go ahead and use this library and it provides a bunch of functions. Like you can check if the user is right now on your page that is on your tab, you can perform certain actions. If a uh, user hides it like on blur, you can have callback functions on focus. You can basically, if you have timers and stuff on your page, you can make use of this library to pause those timers if the user navigates away. If the user is um, coming back to the page again, you can resume that, all that good stuff. So pretty dope if you have a website like that, go check that out. Pill is another great library I find out and it makes your dynamic content, it makes your static websites feel like dynamic. How? Well, it converts your anchor links and fetches that uh, remote HTML code and replaces it in your DOM instead of like typical browser redirect. So it's pretty simple to use. You could uh, actually check out a demo as well. I think there should be a demo somewhere right here, right? So you can go ahead, check this out. This is just a static website, but you see that with under one KB of JavaScript, you have actually converted it into a dynamic website, which does not reload obviously. So yeah, pretty dope if you ask me. Just check it out if you want to um, add basic dynamic functionality or to your static website. Another teeny tiny library, but could be very useful to some of you static site builders is the stop bar. So it basically don't go to its commit history. It looks quite old, but the thing is it never needed to be updated. So that was the thing, right? So you see that you get this nice little top bar, um, which indicates how uh, what percentage of your site is loaded, right? So pretty much you could go ahead and throw it directly in your project and it should work just perfectly fine. Just check it out. It's pretty awesome as well. Finally, there this, there's this Redom library, which is a very small JavaScript library for creating user interfaces. Now, if you're running short on space, instead of like going with the heavy duty libraries like React or Angular, you can go with libraries like these. This works perfect if you have um, very limited storage options or maybe you just want to throw out a website pretty quickly, a prototype or, you know, just basic website you want up and running under five minutes. What you can do with that with React too, but you get all that toolkit and you have to set it up. With these kind of libraries, you just have to throw in a script tag and you're good to go. So yeah, it's pretty cool as well. Just check it out if you want. And uh, that's pretty much it for my top five libraries <clears throat> under one KB. This is actually two KBs, but still I'll just keep it that way only. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon. We are about to hit 100K, so let's just, smack, let's just make it happen fast, <laughs> right? So yeah, that's all. See you then in the next one.